Hi everyone, my name is Anne. Welcome to Art on the Creek and Happy New Year 2024. You know, many of us make New Year's resolutions this time of year, myself included, and I know that a real popular resolution amongst artists is to improve your skills as an artist. So I have a really fun way for us to do that this month. We're gonna kick these resolutions off right. I have a fun challenge. I'll put all the prompts up and they'll be in the description below. What I thought we could do is we'll set a timer for five minutes. And in that five minutes, you'll need to sketch and paint. How much can you get done? Can you decide what's important? Can you decide what to leave out, what to include? I think this is a wonderful exercise and I hope that you will enjoy it too. Let's see what we can accomplish in just five little minutes. Before we continue though, please subscribe to Art on the Creek if you haven't done so already by clicking on that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell too so that you'll always know when I launch a new tutorial or a product review. Of course, if you do enjoy content like this, make sure that you give it a like, leave a comment, or share it with your friends. If you'd really like to take your art skills to the next level, I would encourage you to consider a membership with Art on the Creek. When you're a member or patron of my channel, your membership includes an extensive library of tutorials covering drawings and paintings of a variety of subjects, not just beautiful Colorado, and also in many different art media. You'll have full and unlimited access to an ever-growing members library of tutorials and reviews, as well as the opportunity to receive guided feedback and critique from me. And also, you'll have direct input into which art technique or medium you'd like to learn more about as a member, as well as access to free art supplies. All of that and more is included in your membership, and it's all very conveniently right here on YouTube. There is a link in the description below that will go over all the membership details. But if you still have any questions, just ask me in the comments and I'll be sure to help you out. Now, let's move on to today's subject, shall we? Here are the first 15 prompts, and in the next slide, I will show prompts 16 through 31, but these will all be listed in the description. You know, when we're artists and we're working on something, we need to figure out how we're gonna paint it, how we're gonna plan our scene. We need to rule things out, include things. So this five minute drill will really help you improve those skills. The challenge couldn't be simpler. Now I did buy a, a digital timer because I film my videos with my phone and my phone has a timer in it. So if you want to just use your phone, that's totally fine. Um, for all of the prompts, uh, you can look on Unsplash, in a magazine, whatever, your own family photo albums, whatever source you want to use for these pictures. And I have, this is one of my goals for, uh, for 2024, is to paint something every day just for this purpose not really to do it in five minutes, but to help myself, uh, because you know, no matter how long you've been an artist, that you're continually learning and growing. I want to be able to continually improve on uh, what's important in a sketch. What do you need to put to get your message across? What's the bare minimum amount of information that you need to select in your drawing or, or your painting to get your point across? Um, and five minutes, I, I think just about everyone can carve five minutes out of their day. So what you'll need, I'm using a water brush for this. I don't usually use a water brush, but for this I am. And I may change that as the month goes on, but for the first few weeks here, I think I'm gonna try using just this water brush. I have a pencil um, and eraser. I've got my kneaded eraser here and a fine liner and also the timer, like I mentioned, some paints and I'm using my Da Vinci paints. And this book that I picked up from Amazon, it's a dream journal really, but it's nice. It has textured paper, now the pages are thin. Uh, but this would be really nice if you're a sketch artist because there's a little bit of a tooth on this paper and it really is quite nice and I have been surprised. I've Here we are now on January 6th and I've done a few of these already. It's holding watercolor well enough. <laughs> so I'm pleased for that reason. But I got this, I think it has 400 some pages in it. I'm hoping, my goal for this year is to fill this with 365 paintings. They might be elaborate, they might be quick, but I wanna do something, some one thing for myself every day this year in watercolor. So that is what I'm, I got this journal for. So opening it up, 
we'll see here's the first one I've already done skis now this would be your perspective if you were sitting on the ski lift and maybe sticking your legs out straight so here's the the lift and two other chairs uh, one in front of you and one coming back the mountains and of course this would have been snow but I didn't have time to finish it this is all I had time for and I was very pleased with the way that the buckles turned out because I decided to just leave a lot of it blank a lot of it white that's a huge reminder for me to leave white space I have a tendency to want to fill everything in so this is how this exercise is going to help you little things that you wanted to improve on you can find them in exercises like this and really discover how to best improve them so here I wrote all the prompts in here first one is skis the next one is snow shovel now you can't really go on the back of these pages because the paint kind of bleeds through a little bit but it doesn't bleed through to the next page but here's a man shoveling snow he kind of looks bow-legged <laughs> but I did get that one in and the next one is mittens I did not have time to finish her eyes so this was pretty ambitious uh, but I like the mittens I like that she's hiding behind them all of the rest of the message was conveyed just on the face so I think that these are really gonna be a lot of fun so let's start out today I'll get caught up here this video is gonna air on uh, January 6th Friday but I have finished the first three here so let's do a few together and I've got our timer I've got everything to get ready to go we can get it all set up the first one we're going to do is snowy pine tree that's for January 4th and if you've already done this uh, you know you can either do it again or paint along with me um, and start on the fourth and then cut, get caught up later but let's see oh I always got to figure out how to <laughs> how to use these old timers again um, it just takes a little battery and then you have your readout and you can enter five minutes and then we'll start it and it will beep when the time is up so I'm just gonna set that right there and uh, you know what I'll lay it down so that we can see the time here we go <laughs> I'm kind of nervous <laughs> all right we are gonna do a snowy pine tree I think I'm going to try and just not even use my pencil for this one <sighs> okay you ready here we go had to check and make sure it was working all right I'm gonna go into my cobalt I think This is from the angle that I'm sitting I can't see the, <laughs> the timer so this is really pretty interesting for me because I am not aware of how I'm doing here make it taller because I think I got it just a little too even all right now I've got a good pine mix here let's see if we can play into that one fast and furious See if we can add some more detail I'm not out of time yet get some of these darker green in here
How much time do I have left? Two minutes. Oh my goodness. We can do a lot with this one. Um, let's see. We'll go ahead and go into... Um, let me mix up some more of the dark that I have here. This is just a cobalt blue and a burnt sienna mixed together. And we'll put some a little bit of interest here in the tree trunk. Get some more shadows underneath here, maybe. Well, I don't know. I don't know how snowy or how piney that looks, but since we've got some extra time, <laughs> see if I can dry it and we'll see if I've got enough time to add some, some liner to it. Oh, less than a minute. That's the good thing about this paper. It does dry fast. Oh, that made me jump. Okay. Well, that's how far I got. <laughs> so we're going to call this the five minute pine tree here. We'll just snowy pine. And this one was for January 4th. All right, let's try the next one. The next one is, oh, a snowman. Oh, this one should be pretty good pretty simple for this one. This one I'm going to go ahead and take the time to draw a little bit. And I think I also want to take the time to clean my palette off. Surprise, surprise. All right, now, snowman. Ready? Go. All right, we'll try this. Thinking about having him maybe kind of uh, looking up into the sky. Want a purple here, that's a good purple. A little bit more blue in that. Okay, now for this dark here, let's go back into the burnt sienna and the cobalt. 
mix up a nice dark black here. Let's see, we need a, a little scarf form here. Now we need a nice orange for that little carrot nose. And let's get some water around here. I've got to go to a bigger brush. Emergency, emergency. Well, I almost got the star in the night sky. <sighs> Didn't quite get him finished, but I, I had an idea in mind and I was able to figure out what I wanted the scene to be. So my plan was he was going to be looking up at a star. So that was a little bit more than five minutes could handle. Let's call this one snowman. Get him all dry so we can turn the page. Five minutes, that's all we have is five minutes. All right, for our final painting, we have a sled. And for this one, I am going to go to Unsplash and let's get a reference photo. I like this picture here where the mom is pulling the kids sledding. Whew, this one feels ambitious. All right, I'm gonna turn my painting this way. Got my timer set for five minutes and go. Here's the horizon line. And the mom, oh boy, she has a leg here. Here's a foot. This foot is buried in snow. Her coat comes down to here. I'll have to figure that out just a little bit differently. There we go. Closer. Okay. And then uh, the waistband of her coat. She is up here. Here's her neck-ish. Big fur collar on the coat. And let's see, she's down here. And she's pulling. Let's give her a 
cat. All right, I don't even have the sled yet. Ah. All right, here's this sled. And a child. Oh boy, this is a lot. Uh, hood, jacket, snow pants. Let's put a foot here. Oh my goodness, okay, let's see how we're doing on time. Two, okay, that's half my time drawing. Uh, let's start with the sled. Okay, now we can move on to mom. Go ahead and give her some blue snow pants. And a red jacket. Pinkish. And we'll just do some dark gloves. And the child's boot is here. Mom's boot. This one is in the snow. There's a little belt for her, her coat. And her hat can be black-ish. Let's see here. All right, child's coat is going to be red. Ooh, too much red. And black ski pants and a black hat for our little kiddo too and let's do something with that boot here oh I am done that's it that's all the time we have all right well I got the sled in These are something. Five minutes. That's it. And of course, the whole time you're doing this, you know, you can definitely think, oh, okay, well, if I had more time, I'd definitely spend more time here, more time there. This one, I spent more time on the sketch. I don't know. This is what I got today. So those are my five minute challenges so far for the month of January. We've got skis, a snow shovel, mittens, the snowy pine tree, a snowman, and a sled. How'd you guys do? If you want to post your results, don't forget the hashtags. I'll put them all in the description. And uh, you guys have a great January. Have fun practicing your art. We'll see you next time.
Bye now.